Hey guys, welcome back. So we're going to do like a green set, I guess. I don't know. I just was in love with these new uh, mood effect colors from Glam and Glitz. So I've been using them all. So anyways, this is the one of the green ones and I look so sloppy doing this application. I'm so sorry. I really am not this sloppy, but on myself, I have the way I'm filming the the way the it's like totally away from me. I can't even see what I'm doing. So please forgive me, but I'm going to get a better camera to where I can put it in one of those those things so you guys can see what I'm doing better. <laughs> anyways, I'm just doing my application like always. Starting from the cuticle, brushing it down, and we're doing stilettos, and I'm actually, I pinched the form at the end, because I'm not going as long as the form, so I'm just, I'm grabbing my second bead here, so I think I grab three beads, and then I'll go again just to add a little bit more, like another two beads on top of this color, and then I will cap with clear acrylic, and I'm just showing you guys two acrylic nails. Alright guys, so here I am. I'm just capping the nail with clear acrylic. So after the colored acrylic, I put clear on top for strength and for our structure. Because the colored acrylic is not strong enough to, especially to have a long stiletto like this. I think if you're doing them real short, like really, really short, if you wanted to leave the color alone and just do color, I guess that's fine. I've, I, you know, but really, really short, like real short. No free edge is what I mean. <laughs> so I'm just, especially there, these ones are so long, they have to be capped with clear for strength and for it's gonna be our like structure. We were gonna build with it. So now I'm onto the pinky doing the same process. I put one bead, usually by my cuticle. But I'm also working on my right hand with my left, so it's my non-dominant hand. So I didn't go really, really close to the cuticle because I don't want it to dry before it can start getting flush and me start to push it into the cuticle area. So I think I go a little bit down and the acrylic starts running everywhere because I don't see what I'm doing. And at this time, my daughter was not here to help guide me, The you know, where I can see what I'm doing and she does the filming so basically I'm doing both so excuse the sloppiness in this video so same process as the same as the other nail I think I put three one bead by the cuticle then another bead like right here I blend it upwards then blend it down making my shape then I will go back and put maybe two or three more beads same way, one by the cuticle, just to make it a little bit more thicker. And then I will cap with clear acrylic. All right, guys, so now I'm just pinching the nail. And afterwards, I'm using the Madam Glam. And the gel that this gel, clear gel I'm using, is the one that has a sticky layer because I'm going to dip it in glitter. So I put the, the gel on one layer, cure for 30 seconds. Then you have that sticky layer. I put it into this glitter right here that I have from Wildflowers. This is gonna be my base layer, and it's a really thin, thin glitter. 
So afterwards, I'll go into the lamp again after the glitter for another 30 seconds. Then I'm going to wipe off all the excess glitter and do the same process again. Put top gel on top. So here I am, I'm just dusting it off. Now I'm going to put top gel on again, go into the lamp for 30 seconds, come out and use another glitter. So it's, it's more, um, it's a thicker glitter. So I want it to have that effect. I didn't want it to look thin. I wanted it because uh, I'm leaving this nail glitter. We're going to leave it glitter. So here's the thicker glitter and I'm doing that and I'm putting this one on same way just putting it all over and then you can get your finger and dab it make sure it's on stuck well everywhere then I'll go into the lamp 30 seconds and dust this nail off and we're leaving it as is so that's why I wanted a thicker glitter you know more a, like a bigger type grade of it so here's our final results and I love you guys thank you so much for watching and the thing on my middle pointer finger I made that with the the um, molds that I had purchased from Patico so I'll do a video of those next but I put a flower in there and I used the um, it's organic nails crims I think the the color inside and I made this and then I just put a chain around it and I use clear acrylic to hold it and even the chain so I put a little bit of acrylic around it and held it up and then I just went with top gel on all the rest of the nails except for the glitter nail I left it like a matte glitter so it has that hard effect of glitter and don't forget your cuticle oil love you guys